Good morning, everybody. Welcome to chapel. Today is a great day because we are here to praise the Lord. We're going to start with a song, as we always do, a simple song, a spelling song. Um, let's stand up and sing this one. stay standing. Stay standing while we do the liturgy. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, the sky and all is in them. He created Adam and Eve to care for them. Mankind fell into sin and stopped serving others. God made a promise to forgive their sins and renew them through his Son. As a new creation, we are now free to love one another, just as Christ has loved us, laying down his life for us. But we continue to fall short of God's glory and fail to serve others. For by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not your own doing. It is the gift of God, not a result of work, so that no one may boast. Created in Christ Jesus. Please join me in the Apostles' Creed. I believe... You may have a seat. Good morning. Good morning again, everybody. Say good morning, Mr. Whitney. As I said before, today is a great day. A great day because we are here in chapel. We are here at school learning. We are hearing God's word. We are praising the Lord. I have a Bible passage that I'm going to read to you. Uh, and I need you to do some listening, active listening. The word that you are going to listen for is the word praise, P-R-A-I-S-E, praise. When you hear the word praise, I need you to give me some hallelujah fingers. Demonstration. Okay, show me your hallelujah fingers. Yes, yes, 
okay? These are not hallelujah fingers. These are hallelujah fingers. Thank you. Every time you hear the word praise, here we go. This is from the book of Psalms, which is a book of books, a book of poems, a book of writings. Psalm number 148. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise him in the heights. Praise him, all his angels. Praise him, all his hosts. Praise him, sun and moon. Praise him, all you shining stars. Praise him, you highest heavens and you waters above the heavens. Let them praise the name of the Lord. For he commanded and they were created and he established them forever and he gave a decree and it shall not pass away. Praise the Lord from the earth. You great sea creatures and all deeps, fire and hail, snow and mist, stormy wind, fulfilling his word. Mountains and all hills, fruit trees and all cedars, beasts and all livestock, creeping things and flying birds, kings of the earth and all peoples, princes and all rulers of the earth. Ooh, that was prince, not praise. Um, young men and maidens together, old men and children. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone is exalted. His majesty is above earth and heaven. He raised raised up a horn ruh, raised up a horn for his people praise for all his saints for the people of Israel who are near to him praise the lord how many times did we say the word praise a lot a lot okay i could count but i could have had you count but i'd rather see the hallelujah fingers this is a great chapter in the bible because it tells us what we have to do. And it's not just us. It listed a lot of other things. If there was one word that was a command word, like you need to do this, the one word from this chapter that we heard that says you need to do this, what would that word be? Ah, thank you for raising your hand. Um, Asher? Praise, that is correct. Praise, praise, thank you, praise, 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 praise. Okay, good, yes, praise, that's a command, a command. Some of you may know that as an imperative statement. A command is something that we are told to do. We praise the Lord for many ways, thank you. We are commanded to praise God. Why, Mr. Whitney? Great question. Thank you, Mr. Whitney, for that question. Why are we commanded to do so? We are commanded for a million reasons. And the greatest of them is we praise God because of what he has done for us. We praise God for what he has done for us. I need you to think for 10 seconds about one thing that God has done for you. 10 seconds. What has God done for you? Now I need you to turn to a neighbor and tell your neighbor the thing that you thought of that God has done for you. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now I need you to raise your hand and maybe be called on to tell me what God has done for you. Let's go back here. I think I see Silas Lewis. Okay, say that again. Mr. Whitney's old and deaf. He, he died on the cross. Who all said that's the one thing the best thing that God has done for us. Yes, he sent his son Jesus to die on the cross for our sins so that we might be forgiven. And because of that, we praise, we praise God. There's other reasons, too, that we can praise God. A little, a little less extreme than Jesus dying on the cross. But each and every day, we have many reasons to praise God. Let's take a test. 
if you think we praise God for comfortable pillows, show me your hallelujah fingers. Comfortable pillows, all right? How about, hands down, what if we praise God for food that we eat? What if we praise God for having nice warm winter jackets? What if we praise God for being able to praise God? Absolutely. What about praising God when we're sad? On this test, you said that we can praise God when we are sad. Is that true? Why? That's a tough question. Why can we praise God when we're sad or when we don't feel good, when we're sick or when a family member is sick or when we fight with a friend? Is that easy to praise God? It's not. It's not easy for a preschooler to praise God when they're fighting with a friend. And it's not easy for adults to praise God when we fight with our friends. But we're commanded to praise God. Why do we praise God even when we're sad? I'm going to turn to another psalm. Another psalm that I just had a friend read to me on Monday. This is a very famous psalm, Psalm 23. And I'm not going to read all of it. This is verse 4. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. A key word that I had never thought before in all my millions of years of being alive. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, even though I go through a time where I'm sad or scared or alone, I know that you are with me, that even when we are sad, when we are alone, when we are fighting, we praise God because we are promised that he is always with us. And not just that he is with us, but that when we're sad, his presence brings us happiness. Knowing what he did for us brings us joy. When we are fighting with a friend, we praise God because we know that because we are forgiven from our sins, we can forgive our friends. That when we're scared, we know that we do not need to fear anything because God has conquered everything. For all those reasons and a million more, we Praise God. You and me, everyone here, everyone in the world, praise the Lord. Now that we know that we can praise the Lord for everything, we also know that we can give thanks. We give thanks by showing our gratitude and offering up the things that we have so that other people who might not have can. We will continue with our offering after we pray. Fold your hands. Repeat after me. Dear God, thank you for everything. We praise you for times of joy. We praise you in times of sorrow. Help us to always remember, to always and forever, praise you.
for your goodness and your love. Amen. All right. Ushers, acolytes, you do the thing. I will go to my guitar and we will do the sing. And I forgot to ask, can somebody please remind us where our offerings are going this month? Bryson? Prison ministry, that's right. To help pastors and people share the good news of Jesus with people who are burdened and weighed down by their sin, they can hear the good news of forgiveness. Let's sing. Take my life. Jesus, for you were called to freedom. But through love, take my silver and my gold, not a Love one another with brotherly affection. Do not be slothful in zeal. in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, Please join me in Luther's morning prayer. I thank you. May God the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit direct our days in his peace. Please stand up for our closing song.
as it will appear on the screen. Go. All creatures of our God and King, lift up your voice with us and sing. You may have a seat. What a great day, a great way to praise the Lord. Thank you very much. Um, Mr. Onan isn't here, so we don't have any of the uh, Outstanding Service Awards to give away today. That's okay. We have a couple other things that we can talk about quick. Who can tell me what is next week? Ah, thank you for raising your hand, Presley Bierman. Next week is National Lutheran Schools Week, the week where we celebrate the fact that we are at a school where we can hear God's word, praise him, praise him in chapel, praise him in all that we do a great week. So I'm sure you have heard about the all the things going on. We start with Pajama Day on Monday, and then we have all sorts of other days going on. Next Wednesday, the plan is donuts for dads or other special people. That means that you wake up probably a little earlier than normal, come over to the parish hall, which is at the bottom of the ramp, the building that is across the garden from our building, uh, and you can have donuts in the morning. If you like donuts, let's praise the Lord. Hallelujah for donuts. Yes. Um, so Donuts with Dads is next week for chapel. So make sure that you go home and you tell mom or dad, grandma, grandpa, whoever, hey, you need to read the newsletter that Mrs. Heller sends out. It's called The Hawk Five. It has all the information about Lutheran Schools Week going on. Um, only other thing that Mr. Whitney has to say, that we have some friends who are out because of sickness, and so we want to make sure that we're doing our part to stay safe, to stay healthy, to make sure that we don't get sick. So what you need to do is make sure that we wash hands. Washing hands is a good way to do it. Hand sanitizer is good. Um, we want to stay safe in that way. Keep the germs off our hands because our hands are the things that touch the most things. Um, so start with hands, start with germs, and that'll help us stay, stay healthy as best we can. Um, so make sure you're doing that. 
Teachers, are there any other announcements that you can think of? I'm making eye contact with most of you. Ah, Miss T. Oh, oh, this just in, this just in. Coming soon to a school near you, the Penny Wars. Starting in, not next week, next week? February? Start collecting your pennies and other monetary items so that you can sabotage. It's not about, it's not about your team winning. It's how you can give more money to make the other teams lose. Quarters, dimes, nickels, $20 bills. That helps the other teams lose. But the winner is the people who get the money. Yes, Miss P. Okay. Um, so, okay, all right, um, teachers, Ms. P said, just keep an eye out for scheduling stuff. We'll, we can talk if, if things need to separate or whatever, but just keep that on your radar. Maybe check with the committee, um, the party planning committee, um, to make sure that we're all on the same page for all that stuff. But kids, what Ms. P said, all that means is tell your parents to check the Hawk 5. Anything else? Ooh, you're not a teacher. Ooh, questions can be directed towards your teacher after chapel. <coughs> All right, one more thing we have to do is thank and praise God for all the student leaders who we had today. We have the sound booth crew. We have the acolytes. We have the ushers. We have the singers. We have Carly. Let's thank them how we do it. <coughs> ST! <laughs> Wonderful. I hope you have a great day praising the Lord. Ushers and acolytes, please make your way. And y'all can sit quietly and wait for your turn. Thank you. for saving me thank you god for saving me